today's Leeds News weekend roundup. Cock expects to stay at Frankfurt. Romano speaks on Somerville's future. Vober may stay at Leeds. And Thornquist calls Leeds an ideal destination. Morning folks, Jay here on the 23rd of October with your Leeds United news. A little bit floating around this morning, we won't waste any time, we will crack on and get into it. No match review, um, just because of timings, we did do it last night on the Just Joe show, you can check that out there. We've got a preview tomorrow coming up for the game uh, midweek and then another game at the weekend. So plenty of games to get through this week, so we'll have plenty of reviews. We might review the whole week's worth of games all up at the end of the week and we'll have a look at it there uh, in the podcast. Let's start off today with going through the weekend results and we'll do a quick wrap up of how the Leeds, other, other Leeds teams got on this weekend. And we'll start off with the Legion out under 18s, who picked up an excellent 4 1 win against Nottingham Forest this weekend. Two goals by Harvey Vincent, a goal by Finley Gorman, and another goal by Marley Wilson, giving Leeds under 18s the win in that game. Another good performance by um, Finley Gorman as well, trying to keep the Wolves at bay with that one as well. But uh, two goals by Harvey Vincent as well, who's having a very good season, has to be said as well, with the under 18 team. They're doing great. Moving on, let's talk about the Leeds women team who had a fantastic 7-1 win at home to Chester. Yesterday, scores for Leeds were Pizzarello, Elliot Smith and a double-double. Two goals for Rossi U and two goals for Astle gave Leeds women's team a 7-1 win and what continues to be a very strong start to the season for them. So well done to all involved in that one. Uh, moving on to some of the main stories today. Let's start off with Robin Cock and his potential future away from Leeds United and where we are with that. But Robin Cock has been speaking to the German magazine Kicker over the course of the weekend. Talking about lots of different things but when it did get to talk about his future he was pretty specific on a few areas. Robin Cock's move to Frankfurt this season has been seen as a success for the player and for the club so far and um, he has played every single minute of all of their 13 games so far this season and has been called out internally for praise as well as externally and rumours of a recall to the German national side also being touted as well uh, to go as far as Robin Cock actually being captained over the weekend to, to captain the Frankfurt side this weekend uh, we'll cover that in the long watch tomorrow but Cock, as I said has played every minute five clean sheets as well in 13 starts which is a really good performance as well in regards to his permanent move away from Leeds his contract contract that leads expires at the end of the season and he can negotiate a pre-contract agreement away from Leeds in come January 1st. It's expected that Frankfurt will try and be the first ones in to get that done and dusted so that he stays with them beyond this season. There will be other interest in Germany given how well he's played this year as well but as we all know, he's not expected to return to Leeds. But Cock, when asked personally about his future, he expects also to stay at Frankfurt. And what he had said about it was that he's comfortable there and has thought very, very carefully about his next move. And he believes it is where he is right now. He's having a good season. He's happy with how the team is doing. He's happy with how his career is progressing. So looks like Robin Cock's next move away from Leeds will be to stay exactly where he is at Eintracht Frankfurt. So um, we'll keep an eye on that one and we'll know more in January. Uh, speaking about players who <laughs> could leave Leeds and this didn't take a long time at all after a man of the match performance yesterday for Leeds United yesterday I keep saying yesterday Saturday from Leeds United for Chris Somerville it hasn't taken long for Vultures to start circling around the players future Fabrizio Romano the biggest of the Vultures has claimed on Twitter that numerous Premier League clubs are circling in a bid to sign Somerville in January Ross McCormick this weekend also referred to Chris Somerville as probably the best player in the championship right now which is heavy praise and now according to Romano Everton, Burnley and Bournemouth, who all had a summer interest in Somerville, are likely to return to the table in a bid to sign the player in January. Chris Stockwell have only gone up with his start to this season. Leicester, or sorry, Leeds did reject a £20 million bid from Burnley during the summer for the player. Um, and he decided to stay at Leeds and become a mainstay and a key player to get Leeds promoted. And that was his goal and that seems to be what's paying off for him so far. Romano also stated in his piece that other Premier League clubs are likely interested in Somerville as well and it would be probably a safe bet to say there's plenty of clubs on the continent as well keeping an eye on Somerville's progression especially in Holland as well but Italy and Spain as well we're keeping an eye on as well he's been great he was brilliant at the weekend absolutely brilliant at the weekend um, all parts of his game the areas that he has struggled in before and where he's been criticised are his tracking back he's willing to help out defensively did it excellently at the weekend, um, letting the ball go on time, not over carrying the ball again when he had to do it at the weekend. He did it really, really well. So yeah, pretty much pretty complete performance by Korea um, on Saturday. So well done to him. But um, there will be interest. We know there will be interest. But Leeds have already rejected bids for 
players, players like Willie Nonto and Somerville and Summer. So Leeds aren't going to muck around with small amounts of money. It would need to be something substantial to get Leeds to consider letting the player go. Um, and the players will now see themselves by um, pushing for moves away from the club. It doesn't always work out particularly well, especially when there's no release clauses in your contract. So we'll have to keep an eye on Somerville's situation and see what happens there and why his clauses are still there and if they're still active coming into January. Uh, moving on about players who are away from Leeds right now but may end up coming back and staying and Max Vober is a surprise one for me and this according to Sky Sports in Austria they are claiming that Leeds plan to keep Max Vober at Leeds should and only if Leeds get promoted to the Premier League next season Vober has also similar to Robin Cock has been an ever present in the Gladbach side this season has been called out as a leader and a warrior amongst their fan base and their ownership uh, Gladbach season is not going particularly well for them however Vober is is having a pretty good season playing for them there as well. Things have been said during the week about him as well I've, I've, from other people in Germany about when he's not on the side that they lack elements that he brings to the team. That there, there are no other players in the Gladbach side that can do what he can do defensively. So they're keeping an eye on that but the report states that if Leeds are promoted they may make a decision to not extend Liam Cooper's contract and let that contract expire and bring Max Vober back into the fold to replace Cooper in that spot. That will be something that we'll have to keep an eye on over the course of Christmas. Well, Charles said Liam Cooper did turn down a move to Saudi Arabia in the summer, which would have given him, I think, four million a year or two million a year, something like that. Crazy money for him, tax free or after tax. Um, he turned it down to stay at Leeds this season. And Max Barber coming back in, who wanted to get away from Leeds. I don't know how that sits with the fans. You can let me know. You can let me know where we are on loyalty here. I know um, loyalty pretty much only goes one way with, with fans, but let me know what you think. Would you be happy seeing someone like Vauber come back in and, and, and take the place of a player who wanted to stay at Leeds this summer? Or what's your thoughts? Let me know. Let me know. And if we don't we don't agree, that's also fine. Absolutely fine. Uh, and then finally today, we're just going to revisit a story from two weeks ago that's popped up again over the weekend. And that is to do with the Swedish under-21 international, Noel Thornquist. Thornquist was a goalkeeper that was linked with Leeds a couple of weeks back. And during that time, we said that Leeds were looking at him as a potential replacement for Chris Klassen. What's come out since then is Leeds see Chris Klassen as being too good for under-21 football, but not quite at the level of Ilan Melier or Carl Derlow. Uh, Torn Christ himself has had a very good season, has forced his way into the Malmo first team. At the age of 21, he's very young, but he's managed to force his way into that team and has had, I think, 13 clean sheets so far this season. He's conceded in and around 30, 35 goals in total this season, which is seen as a very positive result for a young goalkeeper playing from Mjölby in Sweden. Uh, Tornquist was, was speaking to football Scanlon over the weekend and this came up in conversation about Leeds being interested in the player and he said that it's great to be linked with Leeds, it means that he's doing great things and his season's going as well as he thinks it's going himself. He also pointed out that he's very happy with his season and happy where he is right now at Melby in his current guise, but described England as a possible destination of somewhere he would like to go and described playing in England and the Premier League as a dream destination for him as well. So uh, another one to keep an eye on. He is the himself, he's the only player pretty much been linked with a move to Leeds so far outside of a couple of um, older ones that have come back in that we won't, we won't count. Like the Ryan Kent ones will pop up, which I'm sure, in January as well. So, um, yeah, so that's that's one to keep an eye on. How do you feel about Robin Cock going away from Leeds permanently? It looks like we all kind of thought this was done and dusted and he wasn't coming back anyway. So, there's that. Um, and then, yeah, thoughts on uh, Somerville and, and Romano's comments on Somerville specifically. And then Max Vober. Do you want to see him come back to Leeds and replace somebody like Liam Cooper? I know there's an ability and an age difference there. But just in, I don't know, in morals? Or are morals gone on football? Are we completely done with morals? Let me know. Let me know what you think. Uh, that's going to be it for me today, folks. Uh, massive thanks, as always, to everyone at Sports Channel. And I'll be back tomorrow morning with more Leeds News. Have a great day. Talk to you then. Bye.